and they were both the people. Because the camera's like at a weird little angle. Maybe if I turn this way. Thick brows are the only way I learn. Like Thick and untamed because I don't do my eyebrows. Hey guys, so today we are going to be getting ready. <laughs> and um, so it's Thanksgiving and we decided to do like a little chit chatty get ready with me. Um, we both look really ugly right now. Neither of us are wearing bras. We're just. <laughs> She's We're a not. mime. <laughs> We're squished together inside of my room. It's a good time. This mirror is really uncomfortable. It's sitting into my face right now. There we go. Now I can like scoot over a little bit. Right. Okay. Right. Um. So we're just gonna start. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go crazy. Yeah. What do you start with? Primer. Primer. I start with my bag of shit over here. I start with my moisturizer. I start. I'm using the Elf face poreless face primer. It's white. Okay. For my moisturizer, I'm using um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It's intense hydration for dry, parched skin. And since it's cold, my skin is super dry and super parched. So mine is like. And now I'm going. I'm just going straight into foundation. I use the Cover Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in 105 because it's the lightest it comes in, and it's still a little too dark. I think I got this. I got this moisturizer. Did I didn't get it in a birch box. I got it in a birch box. Which birch box? Boxes. $10 a month and you get like samples and then you get like one or two full size items. And so far I've been really happy with my birch box. Which I might be using one of my um, eyeshadow sticks I got in my birch box. Oh yeah. Which by the way, Haley, um, Ashley, uh -huh. Surprise yourself on my I'm just saying right now that if you want something for sheer to share out your foundation, get a Real Technique sponge. Yeah. No, Real Technique sponges. I'm using that too today as well. I just, bought, I just got mine in the mail like two weeks ago. It's already looking a little... I use it like every day. Okay, let me try. I do, and this is what I learned from the lady from the Mac store. Is I before I put my primer on, I am going to spray Fix Plus over my face. You literally have almost used all of that. And you kind of feel like that's it. Ugly face, and it's going in the video. And how much? How many layers of foundation can I put on my face with it without it being inappropriate? I do like maybe three. Did you? Three? No. I'm going to be using my primer, Benefit of the Poor Fishnail. This is just a little sample size I got at Ulta for like ten dollars because. It was a fun time. We were it was having a, fun. It was fun, and it was it was $10. I'm like, I've heard good things about this. And yes, it is really good. I put this in my T-zone area. Really? You don't put it anywhere else? No. Because nowhere else is a problem area except my T-zone area. <laughs> so I'm moving on. I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, again, in the lightest shade because... <laughs> because we're white as hell? Right. I'm moving your glasses because I don't want them to get, like, stuffed on. Okay. That's fine. And I use like the bare minimum of concealer because I hate I don't anything. <laughs> I don't. Eyes. I conceal, don't feel. You're a punny little fucker, aren't you? Yeah. So this. <laughs> your own foundation I'm on concealer. I have a lot of skincare stuff to do to myself before I go to foundation. It's because you're old. You're old. You're like 20, 30 year old here. I hope I didn't leave. Oh, there it is. I am going to be using L'Oreal as... Did you use this one? No. Okay. I'm going to be using L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Um, and shade... I don't know what shade. Isn't it soft ivory? It's in porcelain slash light ivory because I'm a pale human being. Really? They make that shade? Yeah, it's like the lightest little <laughs> Oh, I didn't get that one. I have like the ivory beige No, one. I got like the light, my ghost skin color. <laughs> okay, now I'm setting my concealer and I'm using, okay, this is going to look really yellow. I'm using the CoverGirl powder and um, I think it's in like soft ivory. Um, I don't have a mirror for it anymore. And I'm using the foundation brush because I feel like it just packs it right on and it sets so nicely. I promise, guys, this will look way more better once I blend it in. Way more better. Your grammar. 
Yeah. You know, did you ever think that foundation has such a weird smell to it? it smells like, yeah. especially if it has SPF in it, then it smells. Oh good. yeah, this does have SPF. In it. <laughs> Do you get white casts when you take um, flash photos with it? I don't know. I don't take flash photos. Why not? You never just take flash photos. To I mean, I have, like but like, I don't know. I also set the corners of my nose because if I don't, then it gets really red and disgusting and. No one has time for that. No one has time to be disgusting. Nope. No one does. Um, if you're wondering who usually takes longer to get ready every day, it's always her. Do you need something for that? Yeah. I'll go. I'm gonna slide over to the... That was so easy. I, clean I promise. This <laughs> Two eyebrows, because that's the most important part of any makeup look. Oh yeah, I'm about to pull that mirror over here in a second. <laughs> Um, so I'm using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and this is like, honest to god, my favorite thing I've ever bought in my life. Freaking mirrors, just all messed up. Bomb foundation. Yeah, because I like to take time. Perfection. I take time, too. Perfection. Bitch, I'm already perfect. I don't have flaws. And I'm just gonna really, like, do my brows. Like, it's just gonna be thick and nice, and it's a really, like, thick brow. I do look thick brows. Like, oh, it just makes me so happy. What? I'm trying to. These mirrors are just not cutting. I'm about to go grab mom's mirror. BRB. Maybe I'll be done with my eyebrows by the time you get Gosh. I hope you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I make my brows too dark, and so like it's blonde, so it, like evens out the color. Oh yeah, fun fact: Katie used to be blonde. Like in the last video we did together, I was like blonde. She was blonde. Not just like oh you know blonde, but no, I was blonde. Blonde like Khaleesi blonde. It was not that blonde. You were more of a yellow blonde. I didn't like it though. Yeah, now she's a brunette. What's new? I'm probably gonna say bring up the rest of my life. I like it. I like I'm just gonna beat my face to my beauty blender. <laughs> so much. I'm gonna be taking my Coastal Sense 28 Neutral Eye Palette, which if you watch this channel, you know it's like my favorite. And I'm taking this color right here and just using it as a transition color for the look I'm gonna do. I'm immediately gonna spray my sponge with my set in my Fix Plus. Don't get it on the camera. I'm sorry, idiot. <laughs> I don't think that on the camera. I can't see. I can't hear <laughs> Elf High Definition Powder. Oh, I used to use that, but it gives you the ugliest white cast and flash white. And putting it on my blender here. On Are my sponge. Baking? And I'm going to bake my concealer because my concealer likes to crease all over the place. So, we can do that. Maybe it's because you need me to do Maybe it's because your face is stupid. <laughs> what does my face have to do with your concealer? Mm -hmm. Blend, blend, blend your little soul away. Uh, eyeshadow quad. I don't know what color it's in. It doesn't say on the back. Well, it says the actual colors. Um, but I'm just gonna be Maybe using even singles, maybe. This little gold in the corner, um, and I'm gonna put that all over the lid because I'm going for like this gold smoky eye, and it's gonna be the best thing right. that's ever happened. You have another powder. Yeah, I think I have another powder. Oh, I know. Let me remove more. No, I don't think so. It's a Christmas pack special thing. Christmas. <laughs> Shut up. And apparently I can't socialize with people. Anyway, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, she has a makeup channel. Um, she has one video posted because she doesn't have a camera yet, but... And I, I work. But she'll get on it eventually. Maybe, eventually. Maybe next year. Maybe. There's one so, uh, There's one video on it though, so you should go check it And that's out. why I was blonde. Anyways, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I love, 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 love. This is another love, 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 love. This is another holy grail product of mine. A lot of people go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but I'm a girl on a budget. This is only ten dollars, and honestly, I like it more. So, okay, and now I am taking 
the Stila Gilded Trio and I'm taking that gold right there and I'm putting it on the inner corners of the eye and the outer corners and just it's gonna Comment below your guys' opinion on um, Mockingjay Part 2 if you've seen it because I'm wanting to see it tomorrow and I'm like so excited. Hey girls! Do you not want to? I was like German. <laughs> <laughs> German or Russian? I'm not sure. It was one of the two. They don't. Girls, they're sisters. Yeah. Mine, sisters right now. They're like sisters. This color from my Natural Eyes palette and I'm just going to put this in the crease nice. So With a denser brush. A more dense brush than me? I don't think dense is a word. Whatever, it's a word to me. It's a word today. Uh -huh. Oh, yes! The new palettes that I'm using, I have my. Oh, these are Morphe 350. I have my Morphe 350. Oh, what if you opened it and it wasn't the Morphe 350? I know. And then I also have this, which is going to be used in the eye look today. This is my Morphe 35T. Um, it has more golds, browns. See that cranberry matte color I'm using? Cranberry. You can see that? That's why I'm using this color right here. The cranberry. What happens when I try to blend in? When I try to blend, I'm going to line my water in tight line. She tight line stabs herself in the eye. I done that. I did that one time. I stabbed myself in the eye. Um, I'm just using the L'Oreal smoldering eye pencil. It'll be really great if I can find the lid to my concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be using what color was I that I was using? This one right here. Yeah. This color right here as a transition shade. It was okay, so I haven't cleaned this brush yet, but it's gonna get cleaned eventually. It was used to apply fake blood to my Halloween costume. To my face, my rotting face. Oh yeah, if you want to see that, there's a picture of it on it. Instagram, all of her Instagram. If you guys want to see how I did, let me know. Because I will make a tutorial on that. I can go out and buy the materials again. Actually, I have leftover material. And she can just use it. Because she's always here. It's she just needs to teach herself how to have it. Using the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner. And that's what I was planning on using. Um, I lost my eyeliner. I'm using my Kat Von D tattoo liner in and paper. I'm using And I'm about to go into right. my mirror here. Forewarning, we go ham on highlight. Oh yeah. Ham is understatement of the year. Okay, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail bronzer. I just got this bronzer like maybe two weeks, two or three weeks ago. Yeah. And this, okay, this bronzer is kind of expensive. It's actually really pricey. It's almost $40, but it's the MAC Give Me Sun. Contouring and blushing palette I don't know what it's called but I got this like uh, seventh grade and I totally forgot about it but I started using the bronzer in it again and it is a perfect cool tone it has a little bit of shimmer and ugliest little black lines on my face Laura Geller blush in apricot berry apricot berry this is like the most beautiful blush i've ever used i'm taking my urban decay blend anarchy pattern and i'm gonna take the highlight in this palette because it is like so pretty and it makes you so dewy and i'm just taking the real technique setting brush it's just this tapered nice just do my makeup through katie's shit also the good thing about this blush it has like a highlight in it too it's a little bit of highlight okay. Like my life right now. I love this. I, I love used it. Good. That is so great. So the first one I'm gonna be using is ColourPop Super Shock Shock Cheek in Wisp, and this is about eight dollars on the ColourPop site. True. So what I do first is I take a layer of it on my finger and I swipe it across my cheeks. That's for the real. The first layer. The second layer with my just pink sponge. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight in Starlight, and we can just appreciate. Hold on, it's like hard to open. We can appreciate this a little. Like, oh, fuck. 
little fan brush that I found that I didn't oh know I had. Oh my god. That I didn't know I had. And we're going to be taking it and we're going to set because this Wisp highlighter is a cream highlighter. So you always want to you always want to set anything that's cream with, powder. with a powder. So this is Becca and Jaclyn Hills Champagne Pop. And as you can oh see, oh my it's, god! As you can see, it's one probably my favorite highlighters because I've already hit pan on it. And on the NYX Dewy Bow Finish Settings and just and the tip. Rocket Volume Express, and I have the benefit they're real. For lips, this is like my favorite lip. It is the NYX Super Gloss, whatever, in Melted Marshmallow or Burnt Marshmallow. I don't know. I'm putting it on and then I'm done. I had my lipstick. Oh, yeah. For my lip, I am doing MAC Dubonat or, du or Debutant or something like that. Um, but this is really pr pretty, pretty red color. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down there real quickly. So I'm ending this video on their webcam because we were running out of time, um, it was dinner, we didn't have time to show you guys the finished looks, but I hope you guys got like a picture or so of what they ended up looking like. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. If you want to see more Get Ready With Me's with my sister, um, there's her leg back there. I mean, she looks like weird, I guess, so she doesn't want to show you guys. But yeah, if you want more, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below any videos you want to see. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see all your beautiful people next week.